Hey, what is up, old timers and coal miners? It's your boy Quaxer27, and today I'll be showing you guys the top suggestions from Crunker Bunker this week. Our first suggestion comes from Nothing to Vanta. His suggestion is Buff Taser. It's so bad right now, and it also has a charge. Now, I have personally not played with Taser. However, I did watch Sim's video of him playing with it and trying to get a kill with it. I don't believe it's meant to get a kill per se. I suppose it's meant to like tase them and then you kill them. However, in my opinion, it doesn't really seem viable in comparison to just shooting them with your main or pulling out a deagle. Voodoo Medic says, add a border slash icon to the marketplace that cross checks your items in your inventory and places a border like the image attached to the items you already own. Also, please fix buying multiple items without refreshing error code 2. I believe they have that at the moment just to stop alt accounts or something, however, it, it really doesn't have a need for it to be in the game at the current moment, as it's just the Kronker market, it's nothing that big. And speaking on the first suggestion, in my opinion, that would definitely be a good choice to have. If you're trying to collect all the items, it could definitely be a toggleable thing, just like a couple other things are on the hub. It would also add more customization to it, which is always a benefit. Idiot Sticks says, add a way so that map creators can apply for their custom game to give XP. Right now you can't get XP from customs, so it'd be cool if a map creator could apply to get their custom to give XP. This is something that should definitely happen in my opinion, as it would bring back the life for customs, as at the current moment, any parkour that actually says that you'll get KR is not really worth your time in comparison to pubs. You play like one pub game in comparison to about one parkour map, but the parkour map would probably take about 10 minutes longer than the public match. Definitely smart that you would have to apply so you couldn't just get random games giving out XP, but it definitely is a cool idea that they could build something off of. Capcom thinks FR VR devs should have badges. This guy could be a dev, I don't really know, as the devs really haven't been publicly announced yet, and as they might do it in the Q&A, however, I will be missing that. Because it is at 3 a.m. on a Wednesday, so if they like record that Q&A, I could definitely give you guys my opinion on it. However, if there's nothing like that, then sadly, you'll just have to go to the Q&A yourself, or watch somebody else's YouTube video. Our last suggestion comes from Yi Lo Wo, and his suggestion is disable jump scare in settings because I broke my chair when I got found in stalker mode, and that chair cost me like $75. Now, while the devs most definitely will not be replacing this man's chair, having it as a toggleable setting to have a jump scare is definitely a good idea in my opinion, as you have some people that just aren't going to be able to play the game mode in its current state with the jump scare the way it is, as they either have a condition or just get scared quite easily, and this could definitely cause some actual harm, and I'm not just talking about a chair, however, I don't really believe many people play this game mode, so I don't think this will actually be implemented. I hope you guys enjoyed that suggestion Sunday. Make sure you join my trick shot event, guys. It's in my Discord server. We have some pretty big prizes in here, all the way up to a flame fang. So make sure to let your favorite content creators know and to let them join this as well. I've been playing some clunker. Grind so hard, my hand hurts. My opponents might need a doctor. Cause you know, I'm too good with the sniper.